outer space game, just the name. Yeah. Like, how did it come out? MF Doom, a very influential rapper in hip hop hip hop community, passed. R.I.P. MF Doom. Shortly after that, Bob had the amazing idea for the project uh, Planetary Destruction uh, with his artist, Doc Destruction. Uh, it was it was like the most amazing, fast, fastly put together project I, I've ever heard. It was crazy. He reached out to me with two songs. Uh, one ended up being the one that uh, Punch, the head of Top Dog, he ended up taking the second one and his verse was fucking impeccable. Mine wasn't anywhere near as good. <laughs> so definitely, and it's Punch. Like if yeah. it's Punch, it, like it's it, punch. fuck J Mars, I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, the song basically he sent me, it was uh, the Outer Space Gang one. So like it didn't have any of the verses on it. He just kind of told me a, a rough idea of what he wanted in the course of that happening, he hit me up about it. So in the middle of like this turmoil and shit happening with my family. So it's like in between having the cops come called to the house, I think it was like a total of like four or five times, I'm writing parts of the verses, of, of the verse. Or both verses, because at the time I was still writing for the second one. That's kind of what what I think made it so good was that the the turmoil I was going through, I really used that as as, as fuel. Could it it could have ended so many different ways. Fortunately, you know, I ended up get we ended up getting an officer that was was you know black one and, and two was actually trying to de-escalate the situation because uh, Dallas police officers are racist as fuck, you know. So it could have it could have took a whole other spin left, and it, you know that's what I mean by like. There's always going to be something, like literally always going to be something. But like, this is the opportunity of a fucking lifetime for me at the moment. And it, it literally was everything that I, I had hoped and, and dreamed for. So I had, you know, an option. I either let that be an excuse, you know, me having to deal with fucking police coming in and out of the house or get it done. So let's call it, you know, I, I got the shit done. I sent it back to him. He fucking loved it. Um, and it, it turned out to be probably one of the best verses that I ever had. And, you know, shout out to my granddad. Yeah, he made the family militant. Like, that's where that line came from. It's just like he instilled a certain level of strength in in all of us that that helped get us through a lot of a lot of shit, you know. And I never got to meet him. <laughs> Unfortunately, he died when my when my uh, when my pops was sixteen. But you know the the lessons that he instilled in him before he left. You know I I, I feel them. You know I've always felt very connected to him, even though I never got to meet him. And to have a song, an opportunity uh, to honor you know somebody like MF Doom. You know, I felt like it was a perfect opportunity to, for me to honor, you know, not only him, but to honor my grandfather, too. And to, to, you know, really pour everything that, you know, I think they would want me to pour into it. You know, so I, I definitely uh, it, as much of a, a relief and release as it was, you know, for for me trying to like the first bars was like. Uh, yeah, what's up, Doc? Here's a spliff. This is the type of shit to make you forget about it, bitch. Like that that shit was literally me trying to like calm myself down too, you know? And that's where music really started at for me. Before I ever decided to take it seriously, it was my therapy. It was how I got to know myself. Me writing was always about me dumping out all the the stuff that I kept bottled up inside. Because, you know, when I was younger, you know, I didn't have a I didn't have a real sense of self, like at all. I was 18, 19, like I really didn't know myself. I didn't know, uh, I didn't want to know myself. I was scared to know myself at the time. And, and you know, listening to Logic shit really helped me get comfortable with the idea of trying to get to know myself and being honest, like really, really being honest. So whenever I put pen to pad, it was always about me being my most authentic self in, in dealing with the issues that I had at the time. So... Yeah, man, like once once that went through, 
once I sent it and he said he loved it, it was it was like a great feeling. It felt like all that really paid off. Being myself, I I I was I was enough. Like I did what I did, what I created was was enough. And he was a fan of it, man. So to to know that my idol fucked with me for being me, like that made that made Outer Space Gang so much sweeter. And then to be on the same album as all those fucking legends, or the same mixtape as all those fucking legends, like that shit was crazy. The production was crazy. The story was crazy. Like just, it was so unapologetically hip hop. And then on top of it, it got released on Datpiff, like datpiff.com, like the most classic mixtape platform of all fucking time. Like that shit was, that shit was lit. So yeah, man, like Outer Space Gang, the gang, came it came from a place of like love man it came from a a a place of like real shit like that's that's me in that verse you feel me pat on my back (laughs) straight up pat on my cousins back too because they they really helped support a nigga they always believed in me you know uh shout out to asia and jamin they they really they always believed in me they've always supported me and, and having that behind me while we were all going through that shit together it definitely uh it pushed me through a great deal, you know? So shout out to them. Shout out to Doc D. Shout out to Bobby. Uh, Outer Space Gang for life.